Hello and welcome. This video is about white balancing the remote cameras and today I'm using the RP150 panel and the camera you see here is the UE150. Now white balancing is not so difficult but <laughs> with the years we added so many functions as requested by our customers that other customers get lost <laughs> in the in the settings so let's go through it uh, step by step so first of all of course i go to a preset yeah. for that preset and for that white balance i can choose between a so a means uh, this is my memory a if i push a will be this goes into the memory a B is just another memory. You see the white balance in there is slightly different. Anyway, if I would push AVB, then it would go to the same value. ATV, auto tracking white, means it's continuous adjusting by itself. Now each button has a second slash and then here 3200. So if I push shortly, I go to the A memory. If I push long about three seconds now i'm on the 3200k fix same for here if i push long enough i go to 5600k and since these are fixed values the rb things doesn't work anymore you see i'm on fix 3200 so that is because we take let's say a standard table for the white of course the black still work because that's not related to the white balance but we take the correct 3200k value from a memory and it's just it's correct if your white balance does not match if your scene does not match it means your light is not perfectly true 3200k anyway pushing long now we have the var value var means variable and we decide by ourselves which color temperature we go and we can correct oh oh sorry turning the gain i want to turn not the gain but our gain so i want let's say this 30 40k and add a little red now it comes when i recall my presets this additional rb gain is gone this is normal because rb gain is let's say an instant apply to correct uh, one particular case and let's say the most logic thing is that it is not stored with the white balance preset so that's why it jumps back to zero even if i make i do this one and i say i am gonna be clever i want to add it to my preset so i restore the preset i recall the preset and already this value is gone so this is normal it will not be stored and the rb gains will not be stored under the preset because we didn't want to but some people say hey panasonic we want to do little corrections on the var and store then the rb changes we did under preset how to do this First of all, we need to check in the camera menu if the white balance, the standard value, will be stored under the preset, yes or no. As you can see, I change between different presets. I can see no change, but I'm still in the VAR mode. Let me return to a memory and check now. Ah, yes, you can see there are several several white balance values stored 
under the A memory for several presets. You need to remind from that that if you're in VAR mode, whatever the preset is, you stay in this VAR mode. But if you in A or B mode, you can store for each preset another white balance and even with an RB correction in it. The question is how to do this. That is always the question. First of all, we need to say to the camera that it must store the presets with bal white balance included. Therefore, let's check in the camera if that is set on. So we open the camera menu because this is something you have to set in the camera in advance. Then we go to pan tilt and there is this famous line I'm sorry, preset, we need to go, it's a U150. There is this famous line, preset scope, and it can be A, B, or C. What does it mean? If you're on C, the preset will store the pan tilt zoom focus, but not the iris and not the white balance. There are occasions where this is very logic if you're working outdoor and the sun is changing, changing angle, changing color temperature, changing intensity, you don't want to have your iris or white balance included in the preset because it has no meaning. That is scope C. If you go to scope B, then you say to the camera, guy, store the preset with the iris but not the white balance. Then if you go to mode A, you say to the camera, Please store the presets and include in the preset not only pan to tilt, zoom and focus, but also the iris and the white balance value. Yeah. So now that it is done, we can go up and take a little look in the camera. If you go to picture, so here in the white balance menu, I see the same when I push the button. So it is the same look if I push variable, I go to var mode. And if I would change the value here, it also changes in the menu. So actually we are doing the same, but this RP150 has many, how can I say, shortcuts. So you don't have to go into camera menu to do uh, the most actions that you need need life on the scene and you don't want to dive into the menu. Okay, now it comes. I want to store. Let's first go to preset one. Preset one, yes. But I say it's technically too perfect. I want to make it a little bit warmer artistically like this okay because it's a wedding and it may be warmed up so i changed this now if i recall my preset oops it's gone that panasonic i don't want i want to store it in the key preset okay just do the following Go back to preset, store it, same position again, and basically, now if you recall the preset, the value jumps back to zero, as you can see, but the correction is in the preset, as you can see the red state. So it's included in the preset now and the RB gain comes back to zero just that you have the full range of adjustment again. But anyway, I included this correction in the preset. So that uh, you can do this for any preset. So you can include corrections in the preset as you want them. Now some people say, okay, okay, but I don't want to use AVBA or AVBB. I want to set my own color, because I have to start by doing white balance first and then uh, adapt RB gain and then store it. No, 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 I want to start from a certain 
uh, color temperature, which I decide, mm -hmm. and at our begin and then store. Okay, how to do this? First of all, you can you can only do this on the memories you can decide yourself. So it means A or B on 3200K, 5600K or VAR. You follow standard curves, the black body curves, and uh, so you can only temporarily change, but not store that, because it always calls back these initial values. But there is a way. Let's go to camera menu. Now there is a special function. Look, color temperature setting. And here I can change my color temperature and then do RB gain adjustment. First, for my own easiness, I push again white balance and it says you're on 3140K. Okay, maybe I want to change this value a little bit. Heat up. Like this. And then I decide hmm, there was too much blue. Uh, not enough blue in it. Okay, I do like this. Of course, if you play with RB gain, you're changing the color temperature at the end, and that's why it shows the indication. And this is the green axis. So if you feel there is too much green left in the scene, even if you did the perfect white balance, you can take out a little bit of green or uh, add a little bit of magenta. It's the same. So I say, hmm. I found this too greenish, so let's lower the green. By the way, notice if you shift on the green axis, the white balance itself does not change. It's normal. It changes. It stays on the same value. So I can go up. It's long turning. So, and now I'm adding magenta. So going negative, by the way, is adding more green because it, it depends how you look at it. Anyway, now the green is definitely out and if I store this as preset one, it will be stored like that. Let's prove it. Go back to preset two. It was this one, and now we return to preset one. Whoops, and it gives me that values. So, this is the way to store presets with all kind of special adjustments included. Of course, you need to do preset by preset, it's normal it, because you need to learn the camera for each preset, these values. But on the panel, those will fall back to zero. They don't know what is stored in the camera memory. So anyway, I hope, I'm sorry for the very complex explanation, but I hope it's a little bit clear how you can get whatever you want under a certain preset in our camera. And as you decide, you can do it the easy way. Or if you're an artistic guy and you want to do all kinds of things, you can do it a dif difficult way. Okay, thank you for your time. See you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.